That's the last of it, filthy rich. Just rich, please. And on behalf of Rich's barnyard bargains, thanks for another season's shipment of Zap Apple Jam. Our pleasure. See you next time. Uh, Apple Bloom, did you pack up the cider into the same crates as the Zap Apple Jam? Sure did. Now that I'm getting older, I want to prove I can handle more responsibility on the farm. But the crates aren't marked. You kept track of what went into which crate, right? Oh, um, uh, yep. I totally kept track of everything. Good. Because we wouldn't want Filthy Rich to get a shipment of cider when he's supposed to get Zap Apple Jam. You know how Granny feels about selling cider anywhere but on the farm. Are you sure he got the right crates? <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Now, why don't you and Big Mac head on out to the house and let me finish up here? If you gave Rich the Zap Apple Jam, then what's this here? Um, extra? <clears throat> nope. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Granny knows I, I wasn't trying to make off with a shipment of cider, right? Because I would never do that. Don't worry. We know exactly whose fault it was. Now, why in tarnation would you lie to me, Apple Bloom? I was kind of hoping I could fix it before any pony found out. Telling lies won't fix anything. Trust me. I know. What could you possibly know about it? You've never told a lie in your whole life. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, sugar cube. <laughs> Your big sister lied so much when she was a fairly, the whole family ended up in a hospital. What? <laughs> yep. <sighs> you might as well tell her the whole story. Might even do her some good. When Applejack and Big Mac were just a wee bit older than you are now, they both kept a squabbling over who would run the farm better. All I'm saying is that you may have plenty of brawn, but I'm the one with the ideas on how to run things better around here. <laughs> Applejack, Applejack, Applejack. Ideas are all well and good, but you can't plow a field with them. I don't know how many times I've told you that. Too many. You two horned toads better stop jabbering and get to working. Yeah, it is better. I need you to go to town. The apple blight's been awful. And if we don't get more spray, cider season will be shorter than a dwarf crab apple tree. It's like I was just telling Cousin Brayburn last week. Now there's a pony who knows how to put his back into a problem. Uh... Oh, hi there, filthy rich. Just rich, please. And I'd like you to meet my fiance, Spoiled Milk. Honey, this is Applejack and Big Mac, the two hardest working ponies at Sweet Apple Acres. You were gonna farm? How quaint. Oh, now, dear, be nice. Sweet Apple Acres makes Zap Apple Jam. It's one of Dad's best sellers. You mean one of your best sellers? My amazing husband-to-be is running the rich family business now. Did you know that? Well, now you do. <laughs> Don't mind spoiled milk. She's just proud of me. But she's right. I'm in charge of the store now, and I'm just bursting with ideas I want to try. Like what? Well, how about this? Cider season's around the corner. Why not let me sell it for you? That is an interesting idea. Well, maybe it's interesting and maybe it ain't. 
but it's definitely not a new idea. Granny Smith told us your grandpa, Stinkin' Rich, used to ask her every year if he could sell our cider in your store, and Granny told him every year about the tradition of every pony in Ponyville lining up out at Sweet Apple Acres. So start a new tradition. Someday, one of y'all take over the farm just like I've taken over the store. I'm guessing it'll be the one with the best ideas. Well, now, as I've said many a time before, ideas are all well and good, but you can't plow a field. You know what? How about we give you three barrels of cider early, and if it sells well, we'll make a deal for the rest. Oh, hey, now, perfect. Come on, honey, I've got to get everything ready. Hoo-wee, I tell you, if the future means me running Sweet Apple Acres and you being quiet, I can't wait. I just can't believe you'd make a deal with Filthy Rich without even talking to Granny. Ah, oh, Granny will love the idea. And then she'll decide that I'm the one who should take over the farm. You'll see. She would. Applejack here had another one of her big ideas. And I think we all know my position on ideas. You can't... can't plow a field with them. E. Right. Big idea, Actually, more of an opportunity. You see, we ran into Filthy Rich in town. Did you know he's running the family store now? And what does this here opportunity mean for Sweet Apple Acres? Well, uh, since cider season is almost here, he, or I mean I, thought it'd be a good idea to give him a few barrels of cider to sell at the store before the season starts. Oh, is it all? Absolutely not! Hmm. Granny, why can't we sell a few barrels of cider early to Filthy Rich? Hey, how is it any different than when you gave Zap Apple Jam to Filthy's grandpappy to sell? Your cider and your jam ain't the same thing. Zap Apple Jam jars preserve the flavor for moves, but cider starts to spoil the second it comes out the press. That is why every cider season, all of Ponyville lines up at Sweet Apple Acres and first come and first serve. <laughs> I get what you're saying, Granny, but couldn't you make an exception just this once? I sort of promised. Mm -mm. Besides, cider making is iffy business, and we're probably not going to have a lot this year anyway, what with all the blight. Well, I'm sorry, Applejack, but you's just going to have to unpromise. Oh. I hate to say I told you so, Applejack, but... You and I both know you don't hate to say anything. Well, I've always thought that the most important thing a pony can do is say exactly what's on his mind to any pony who listens. So every pony everywhere always knows everything you're thinking. And... And you don't ever have to listen to any pony else. What? Exactly. Well, if it ain't my new business partner. Uh... About the cider, Rich. Take a look at what I did last night after we made our deal. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Pretty great, huh? The thing is, I don't think I can get you any. What? Well, I did all this work on your say-so. We shook hooves and everything. Well, you see, at Sweet Apple Acres, we've always been about quality. And, well, your basic jam jar... Plus, keep... it's been a tough harvest this year. What with all the blight. Oh. Sounds to me like you're trying to make excuses. Whenever Granddad dealt with Granny Smith, she kept her word. If you can't do that, then maybe our families should stop doing business together. All together. Now, now, the thing is, Rich, it ain't really up to us. You see, Granny's... You're sick! Wait, Granny's sick? I had no idea. Yeah, no pony did. What Big Mac means is uh, we've been trying to keep it quiet. We don't want people to make rash decisions about doing business with Sweet App Lakers just because we're uh, a little short-hooved at the moment. Oh, my. Of course, of course. I'm so sorry. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do. Much appreciated. But right now, we, we only ask for your understanding during this difficult time. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to tell Rich the simple truth, but instead you made things worse with a giant lie. What was I supposed to?
to do. You heard Rich. If I told him the truth, he was gonna stop doing business with us altogether. Yeah, but that's only because I, I forgot to ask if we had any oat crumbles for this delicious looking salad, Granny. Yeah, I will take a look. That was only because you made promises you couldn't keep. But there's got to be a better way out of this mess than by making up some story about Granny being sick. Well, it worked, didn't it? Sorry to drop by unannounced. We just wanted to come by to wish Granny a speedy recovery. Look, sis, our good friend Mr. Rich and his fiancée are here. Oh, and they brought flowers for Granny on account of she's sick, like you said. Ain't that sweet? Uh, excuse me one second. <laughs> what in tarnation? Oh, I'm sorry, Granny. I didn't see you there. You came blasting in so fast, twerk possible to see nothing. Can you go out to the barn? I, uh, I think we might have left a blight sprayer in the orchard. Are you out of your apple picking mind? It's supper time, girl. I know, but if we forgot a sprayer, I'd want to get it before dark. You go start counting, and, and I'll tell Big Mac we'll be right back, okay? So from that moment on, I took to referring to myself as big or large or... Ah, oh, Applejack, your brother was just explaining why he always wears his yoke. Even though we asked him how your grand bear is doing. Oh, well, you know how Big Mac can get to, to talking, especially when he's upset. And right now, he's just as worried about Granny Smith as I am. Dear, is she doing that bad? Well, one thing's for sure. She, she shouldn't be seeing any pony right now. In fact, I'm getting more upset just thinking about it. Excuse me. What in the frilly fumadilla's gotten into you? Sorry, Granny. I just decided if I helped you, it would go faster. Well, you're too late. All the sprayers are here. Oh, good. Uh, say, Granny, when did you first fight the apple blight again? It was my second year here in Ponyville. Uh, that was before I had the rich on the one knee. And others say that's how the trees got to growing so tall. But to me, it's just how I got my cutie mark. But we asked when we could come back to see Granny. Uh, Big Mac didn't want to be rude, but you just can't see Granny right now because she's... got apple blight! <gasps> I thought only trees got the blight. Yeah, that's usually the case. The doctors think it's from working in the orchard for so many years. You see, we had to take Granny to Ponyville General. We just got back right before you showed up. Oh, my. That is terrible. Ugh, it's not contagious, is it? Um, I'm sure you'll be fine, but you should leave. <coughs> just in case. You're right. We're gonna have to hurry if we want to get there before visiting hours are over. That's right. Wait, get where? Why, the hospital, of course. I'm sure we'll see you there. Telling Phil the Rich that Granny's in the hospital just made everything a hundred times worse. What are we supposed to do now? I got it! Drop my second best teeth right in the pig pen, and that was the worst case of apple blight I have ye ever seen. I'd love to hear more, Granny, but we gotta get to the hospital right away. The hospital? Why? Who's sick? You are, apparently. What he means is you're needed at the hospital. <laughs> Whatever for. It's the apple blight. It's starting to infect ponies now. The doctors need an expert opinion, and no pony knows more about biting blight than Granny Smith. Well, what in tarnation are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> you know, we're supposed to go in, uh, in the back, uh, to avoid any pony in the waiting room with the blight. I almost forgot. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
And now you don't have to worry about catching the blight. If you say so, dearie. Now you wait right here while I uh, check on your presentation. What in the rotten rhubarb is going on here? <laughs> Fancy meeting you two here. Well, we told you we were coming. Well, I'm glad we found you, because I can't seem to find Granny's room. Or any nurses who've even heard about a pony with apple blight. Granny's room. Sure. Just go down here, take a left, then a right, go down some stairs, up a bunch more stairs, uh, through the cafeteria, left three more times, and then you're there. Easy as Granny's apple pie. <laughs> uh, aren't you coming with us? Oh, catch up. I gotta find Big Mac. Okay, Granny, just wait here one second, and we can go. Where are you two going? Big Mac can't come. He, uh, might be contagious. Contagious? All right, climb up here, and I'll cover you up. Then I'll bring Rich in, tell him you're Granny, but you're not allowed to take the sheets off. You moan a few times, he leaves, and this whole thing is over. This is spinning way out of control, Applejack. Now, I know you thought selling cider in Filthy Store was a good idea, but it ain't worth lying to him about Granny being sick and needing to go to the hospital, or fibbing to Granny about them wanting her to come here to talk about the blight, or... Big Macintosh, please just listen to me for once! This ain't about my ideas. If Rich finds out about all the lies, he'll cut off ties with us and the farm will go under. Now, do you want that to happen, or do you want to help? Why can't you be Granny? You're her size, and this is all your fault in the first place. I would, but if I let you do the talking, you'd just ramble on and on until we all got caught. Yeah. Just lay down, keep still, and promise me you won't say anything for once in your life. Yep. Granny! Granny! It's about time! What is going on around here? Uh, Granny, they need you to wait here. I'll come get you. Yeah. Oh, there you are. We've been going in circles looking for Granny's room. Well, you're in luck, because it's, it's right over here, and this time I'll make sure you don't get lost. What in the gum? What now? He, I mean, she was right here. Oh, no. We gotta go. Is that Granny Smith? Where are they taking her? You two, don't lose that gurney. Granny, what are you doing? You're supposed to stay there. It was a supply closet. Oh, uh, well, okay, come with me, but be quiet. You know, save your voice for the big presentation. I'm sorry, but you can't get any closer without a gown and mask. But, 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 but that's my brother on there! Don't worry. This is our best doctor. She'll have your brother back on his hooves in no time. Ugh. Now, apple blight is a serious disease. Now, uh, did she say apple blight? I, I, she said gasket mites. And once your trunk turns red like this, the only thing to do is prune the branches. Oh, oh no, Granny! Did you say prune them branches? Well, sure. What else are you gonna do once the blight gets this bad? Smith? What is going on here, Applejack? That is a darn good question. <sighs> I'm not sure if I was worried that no pony was listening to my ideas, or just nervous that I wouldn't be the one to end up running the farm, but I promised something to Filthy Rich that I couldn't deliver, <sighs> and I was too embarrassed to admit it. So Granny was never sick? 
And there ain't no apple-blighted ponies? <clears throat> nope. Those were all lies. And I thought if you found out, you'd stop doing business with the farm. So I just kept telling more. So she's not a doctor? Please don't make Granny and the farm suffer for what I did. This whole thing is my fault. That's not entirely true. Maybe if I paid more attention to what you had to say instead of talking all the time, none of this would have happened in the first place. I just need to talk less, listen more, especially to you. <sighs> Thanks, big brother. And whether it's me running Sweet Apple Acres or you, I know it'll be in good hooves. Well, that's nice, but I don't know what in blazes you two were talking about. I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Running the farm, not after this display. Not likely. And don't you go getting any ideas about cutting ties with Sweet Apple Acres, or I'm going right to your grain, Peppy. Get me? Uh, um, yes, ma'am. Now, who here still wants to hear about the Apple Blight? Now, what now, was the filly? I can't believe you told all those lies. It's not a story I'm proud of, but it taught me a lifelong lesson about being honest. I hope you learned something, too. I sure did. I learned that no pony starts out perfect, and sometimes you gotta make a few mistakes to figure out who you are. Mm, yep. But I think the most important thing I learned is who really runs Sweet Apple Acres. Granny! <laughs> you darn tootin'. Now, little pony, quit your lollygaggery and get back to work. Right after we have a glass of cider. <laughs> <laughs>